reached the halfway point of the 2024 season for both teams. And both teams are in need of a win. Scott and White. Diana Taurasi missed the last game. Back soreness, back in the lineup. Broken hand. Uh, one is rehabbing shoulder in Satu, and I'm talking about, you know, Maddie Seacrest. This team's going to shoot a lot of threes. Their threes have gone down a little bit since Brittany Griner has come back into the lineup. But and where the defense is playing and what side they're playing. From the outside, the three. Phoenix second and three point. Tracy Sheldon there, hoping she gets back on fire shooting the basketball. Tarasi has to guard Natasha Howard in DT. Had five free throw attempts the last three games, having an outstanding the remaining three quarters with a broken foot. Tasha's with Washington. Not going over 3,000. Natasha didn't know about 3,500. So I'm going to have to care, but somewhere you got to know you've been great. Brittany Grider over Tierra McCowan with a right-handed hook to toe. Boy, she's such a great player oh. and just so calm how she does her business. Getting Dallas wants points in the tunnel. The pull-up by Allen. She's got some bounce in her. They just have to be more consistent, especially on the defensive end. And Natasha Howard. I think that was one of the biggest trades that this franchise made is to bring her here, her leadership. And, and here is Arike. Sims thought about it, wants to go left, pull up, off back of the iron. She catches and turns. It's hard to guard somebody in motion. Brittany Griner this time goes outside. But she's expanding her game. Oh, yeah. she has to. Came into camp in the best shape. That's not Pierre McCallum. Your productivity within this offense and defense. And 25th, and you talk to the coaching staff. T-Mac can't get it. Allen the rebound. She got the okay, so she can work out now. Nice pass inside. Tarasi's going to be fouled. What a pass, though, from Natasha Cloud. Tarasi, 42 years of age. You and I were just watching two-time all-defensive team in the WNBA. Arike, the pull-up guy. You know, she ends up getting take a step back, and now Arike have, has her on her hip. Nice job defensively by Sheldon. That opens it up for Rebecca App. Man, she can go. In Australia, she was lights out. Wow, still trying to guard Howard. There is Arike. No. Nice box. Well loved by everybody here, including our broadcast team. Pierre yeah, McCow is going to be fouled on the play. The Coaches do not do that, including myself. <laughs> You're in the locker room. It so far, but injuries do that sometimes. You know, I've been around better as a coach. Good to see Dallas getting to the line because they had four times this season where opponents doubled up. Got about four inches on Cloud. They show the double. No. The power fights back to the rebound. Wings.com. Yeah, I'm going to need some. Or you can re-gift it. Just gift it to me because I'm going to be in the pool tomorrow. There, there you go. The league has ever seen. She plays hard on both ends. Her Season and postseason workout program. Knocking down her 44th from beyond the arc this season. Four 30 point games this season and the win of four. Think about this. Copper played for Chicago, MVP of the WNBA Finals. They won it. Mercury. I mean, they've done a great job yeah. of stacking their team with Tarasi and Griner. That's what. Oh, yeah. If she gets deep enough under the rim and she gets into the kill box. Now, nobody is going to stop. He is going to be fouled. I want to put Tierra McCowan in the perspective. She has nine. Right now, she's averaging seven rebounds a game. She's been to the foul line. I don't know. Love watching Shook Sutton play. The respect, how he deals with people, he's personality plus. Kalani Brown, who told us to begin. Congratulations. You and your wife, Sherelle, about to have your first baby. Uh, baby boy is, it's imminent. Any, any minute. Raymond, Griner. Raymond, Brittany Griner's dad's name. Be born any minute. Diana Taurasi for playing at UConn and all the championships they won there. But what she's done for this league is so amazing. J.C. Sheldon is five years.
I think this is her third, maybe fourth time she's she's been to the league. Number three in assists per game for players off the bench. Now she'll pull the trigger for three. Doesn't get the bounce. Kalani the all but last game. Now coming off the bench, Sheldon launches. Monique tried to time the rebound. But to keep her in front of you. Because free throws are almost. Gets them both. I mean, think about it. She's a record. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, that the buzzer almost got it, not able to do it. Dallas got a good look at it with Kaladi Brown. Both teams using their bench. Tarasi with the three or second of the ball game. Yeah, Diana, these guys, they dominate the offense. 72% of their offense is from those threes. And those three have 23 of their 30 points right now. Kofi Cunningham, another three points. Playing really hard off the dribble drive on the strong side. And they're looking for weak side action, just like that. Out 80 games in her career, she has had five or more three-pointers. Jack Uzun uses the body to keep up. Inside, Uzun against Phoenix. Here is Kreider, has to give it up. Nice defense by McCowan. But Harrigan into the lineup. They give Tosh the look. Tarasi puts the hand up. No, Kreider the rebound. At 21 seconds on the clock, the Mercury were in, almost in the paint. They Their legs don't seem to be a problem, but it's still very early. Tarasi, that's going to be a three-shot foul and a replay. Look at LeBron. Look at Tom Brady. Look at Diana Tarasi. They have a profession. I love He just wanted to talk about his six-year-old daughters, how they've become Mercury fans. <laughs> Diana Tarasi completes the three-point play. That was a common three-point. Dallas has had problems hitting the threes this season. Here is Enrique. Tough shot, got it. Yeah, but you said they shoot threes. This is a play called touch, by the way. That's a beautiful play by Papa. And the foul is going to be Enrique Ogumawale. 80% from in the WNBA in points in the paint. Almost 40 a game. This is what you have to do. You've got to pound it. This time they tried to double Copper. That opened up for Cunningham. No, Natasha takes it away from Matt. Oh, it's going to shut it. Natasha takes it away from Natasha. Sore lower back. Here comes Arike. Five and a half to play in the first half. Beautiful pass from Arike. I tell you what, I just love how these guys dress for these games. It's so cool. Howard tried to get it. Cunningham works off the pit. Copper again. This time knocks down the three. Fantastic. But it's hard to pick 12. I mean, those Got are the greatest players in the world. And Enrique, you're one of them. All of her teammates get up and yell, that means you've done something right. Allen from the outside, you gotta jump out on her. One of seven from three. She's three of three so far tonight. Boy, McCowan had great position on Ryder. Turns it over, here comes Seth. That was really great defense by Kara. Howard got it! Flatman. What were you and I talking about? You gotta grab the ball with two hands. And right around McCowan. Oh, yeah. Copper. She's a winner. That pulls it away. Beautiful feed inside to Monique Billings. Two minutes and 25 seconds for the Wings. They're down by 13. Copper again having her way. This time to whiteboard. You know? Says on the drive. Can't finish it out. Offensive rebound. Put back Kalani Brown. Shooting 56%. Wings shooting 53%. Ryder got behind Kalani Brown. As beauty throws it over her head. Drops the cloud already, six assists in the ball game. Then commits the foul. Putting half. Sev, pull up jumper, too strong. Took her eyes off at Odyssey. Too strong. Tarasi, the steal. She leads the league in that category, but Cunningham had it lost it. By the way, coming up at halftime. That's just a breakout year. She became a star in this league. Enrique had to use the body so nobody would block her from behind. On the defensive end. 
And they're going to bring Cloud back in with three. Take Shook Sutton. You know, I think, I think Coach Tibbetts was kind of pushing us down. A Second different shot of the game. Brock Drowski sets the pick. Hip checks out as he sends. Cloud to the reverse. That was pretty. 28 chances to do that. And Nate Tibbetts is, we're, it, we're, still, we're still coming around right. on the threes. Enrique, one of two Dallas Wings. Allen, nice cut inside. Ryder works on McCowan off one foot. Whistle and a foul. That's going to be a tier. Still in Dallas. You know, and I like that Nate Tibbetts was talking. Well, she's doing it in grand style. You know, she has 10 points, six rebounds. And, and really, Odyssey has to do a better job of sensing where the, the double team is coming from. And McCowan's going to foul. To get your hands down. Three straight. You know, it's four seconds on the clock, and you haven't had one opportunity. How about that pass, Kalani Brown? She covered up by Odyssey. This time, Kalani puts the hands straight up. You have to have right, your verticality, and you must have your hands up. Look at oh, look oh, in the top. Sweet with three Oops. Of course, Enrique Ogaboali was on Dancing with the Stars. Her partner was Gleb. Don't ask me why I know that. <laughs> Away. Just got to keep moving the basketball quick. Quick ball movement like that. And player movement. Heat of the ball game. Last four games, Enrique has shot 51% from three. Enrique saved. Howard went for the steal. Oh, a little French pastry. Tarasi has a tip. They get into the hands of Howard, and she is full hands up and active. Away at this lead, that's a dozen. Odyssey inside. Oh, the rim was not kind. Rep the waves wherever you go. Head to Dallas. That you were a little upset that I had to I know. For Enrique to pick her up. She's screened off by Grider, who rolled. That is a classic screen roll. They make you pay on switches, Phoenix does. Howard off balance. Flash youth today. You, you know, know, we're talking during the break. Brittany Grider. Establishing what the Mercury wanted to do on the inside. <laughs> Went to basketball camp. No, I did. Red Manning's basketball camp at Duquesne in Pittsburgh. Okay, then everybody here went. Now. Get a three, get a three here, and now we got a ball game. Howard launches, right splash! Bam! Had her face up. Shot clock at five to Tarasi. They switch. Ryder rolls. Count it, and she'll go to the... What Ryder has done all night, but I'm really proud of her making the U.S. Olympic... By a dozen again. Odyssey. Shook Sutton tries to catch up, but Odyssey gets the bounce. She's style coming into the scene. This year, that he's favored in the NBA. Howard got it. Invigorating this defense, getting her hands in the passing lane. Money again. You gotta believe about 25% of the first two points of the second half for DT. Kalani Brown takes the 15. Oh, Natasha Howard, one hit. That ties her season high. Her career high is 33. Tarasi, no. Arike to Brown, back to Arike. You give her space, she makes you pay. Order, then fatigue set in. Up ahead to Odyssey, Cunningham to beat. She is going to be fouled. Last year with Dallas. Her last full season in the W was back in 2021 when she averaged has been since the opening quarter. Copper on the drive. Kalani gets her with a little bit of a hit. Kalani didn't like it. Is marginal contact downstairs. Dallas on a 24. 23 in the ball game. You know some teams have them. For Copper, another 20 point game that's 12 on the year. Backdoor pass and that foul is going to be on Herbert. Someone who works and see everything. 
Back out to Grider. They give her the shot from 19. Got it. BG showing rage. Smart enough to know she's got to take that shot. Sheriff from deep in the corner. Much needed three. Have a chance. Stops on a dive. It's a two-point game. Mercury led by 18. On the drive, win it down. Give it to your stud the third. And again, it is Copper. She is sir. And was a part of that, two, you know, 2012. Cloud got it. What a job. Lost to Connecticut. Her post-game press conference was a clinic on how to do a press Well, she also was saying that this has been a really renewed opportunity for the the league. And the X Factor, the fans, they were amazing. Back, no. How about the Starts our pace, you know, right now we have 11 fast break points and they're five. And so they've had three games back to back to back in four days. Got the three-point shooting down. It was 0 for 5 in the yeah. third, and now Allen just knocks one down. Back to double digits. Allen now guarding Enrique. They switch with Cunningham. And Allen's going to be... So hard. Odyssey off the glass. Got the bounce. Odyssey with... Cloud, no place to go. Good defense. Billing saying somebody's got to pick her up. Sheldon on... Nice pass. Monique lost it. J.C. Sheldon, no. Uh, what an up. Wow, oh, what a pretty move. Can't finish it out. And that's going to be Allen. May have gotten her. Shot clock didn't reset. Odyssey for three. And it'll belong. The first half, the wings. Wings usually a solid free throw shooting team. They're only... 69% of the two, three, or four spot. Always plays aggressive. A oh, beautiful pass inside to Howard. Like Natasha Howard did. Five assists for Enrique in the game. Brittany Griner. A career year right now. Everybody knows what a oh. great scorer she is. She just missed that shot. Yeah. My, my, my. And Natasha stays two points to Rossi. Kalani straight up. Ah, Ryder cut the ball and lead back to nine. Kalani from 15. In the 20 foot shot. He's got it in her game. Oh, I agree it's 100%. Oh, slick play. You know, it would be nice to see. I was going to say, Enrique shoot that shot. Dix is out of challenges. The Wings still have theirs left. They're going to technical foul was called on Natasha Cloud during that time. Good game. I hit her all the time every time I see her. They love the game. Two in the league and assist per game. Got her new customized Nike shoes. That's going to be a whistle and a foul. With fourth, but I was going to lead to is that these teams may be in a hunt for a playoff tiebreak needed. Well, you are absolutely right. You get into the tiebreaker. Enrique telling me before the game, we just got to get in the playoffs. Anything can happen. Oh, my goodness. What a Enrique. Over two outstretched hands. Flash. Going to be fouled on the play. Top order of 32nd at Burks. Had a backboard on an electric pole. Copper on the drive. Rejected by Kalani Brown. Broke away. Copper's got Arike to beat. And Arike. Thought she had the pick for Kalani Brown. Wide open cloud, knocks down the three. Only one with four for the Dallas Wings. And Enrique's got it. That last time out, Coach LT was hyping her team up, telling them to stay in it. We're right there. Want from your coach. Yep.
you know it's not going to be a perfect game, but she's always given her her team a chance to emotion. For the Mercury here in the second half, only two points. Natasha can't get it. You should have slowed it down a, a beat for her. Tarasi. Whistle and a foul. They're going to get three shots and set their defense. Kalani to regulation. Arike. Howard. Bates got it again. Howard. He's still going to play this game until the end. This is where she shines. Copper, that burst of energy. Then it went to double overtime. The Mercury won that one. Ryder cuts it again. Nice deep on the floor. How about Enrique? She hugs Sophie Cunningham. Odyssey with the clean nose. Nice defense, Sheldon on Cunningham. Shot clock at two. The turn, no. Rebound. Enrique close to fouling on top to Rossi. Copper left open, and the dagger. So the wings that trailed by as many as 18. They were able to cut it to a couple. 36, a career high for Natasha Howard. Free throw attempts and free throw made for Natasha Howard. Natasha Cloud puts the finishing touches on it, and that's going to do it. Big win for Phoenix. Tad tired, but they won it 104-96. Now Dallas has to get ready for a very good Atlanta team. Yeah, well, I'll be back here. I'll be watching the game, not doing TV.